Hey everyone, so today's video is pretty fun because I'm collaborating with two other artists here on YouTube So my video is actually only one part of this three video series I'm collaborating with Draw with Jazza and Mark Crilly and together we're creating this little illustration based off of this So this was Mark's concept. He thought it'd be cool if we each drew ourselves but the cartoon versions of ourselves are drawing the next person. So it's like this little optical illusion where the drawings are drawing the next drawing. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. So that is what this collab is based off of. And I'm actually part two in this series. So Mark did his section first. So I'll link to that in the video description. Then mine comes second. And then after that comes Jazz's. His will also be linked. So be sure to watch all three so you can see the entire piece get made. So yeah, I think it's a pretty fun idea and let's get right into it. So starting off, I'm using my light box to trace over top of Mark's original because I didn't want to do my sketch directly on his piece of paper in case I screwed something up. So I traced the shapes of the paper and then drew my sketch on top. And I was figuring out how exactly I wanted the character to look in the corner, mostly for the eye style. I didn't know how cartoony I wanted to go with it, so I was testing out a few different ideas on the bottom of the page before I committed to actually drawing something. And then I just doodled it out on this paper and traced it back onto the original and inked it on there. So let me talk a little bit about Mark and Jazza. If you don't know who they are, you're truly missing out. They're a big part of the artist community here on YouTube. So starting with Mark Crilly, he has a huge channel here on YouTube and he does all kinds of drawing videos. Most of his videos are instructional, so if you're into tutorials on how to draw stuff, that's your go-to place. There are so, so many tutorials. I know you guys ask me for so many, but he has so many there on his channel and they're all amazing. He has a ton of experience in the illustration industry, so there's a lot you can learn from him, and his videos are super interesting. You must check them out. He has a lot of published works too, like graphic novels, how to draw books, and other illustrated works, just a ton. So I highly recommend you go to his channel and subscribe. As you can see, one of my little helpers is coming to visit me. That's why I had to include my cats in the doodle because I can't draw anything without them coming to visit me. So it would just feel wrong if I didn't include them in this drawing. Now about Jazza's channel, Draw with Jazza, if you're not subscribed to him yet, well, this is your second warning because <laughs> we just did a collab not too long ago. It was within the last couple months. We each drew a picture and then swapped line art and colored in each other's drawings. So if you haven't seen that, here's your second chance to find out about his channel because he's also super, super talented and does a huge range of art themed videos, anything from speed paints to challenges, tutorials, and he does a lot of animation as well and some digital stuff. So just a wide variety of art material there and it's all super well done. His channel has really high quality videos and everything. So go check him out and check out Mark. Subscribe to both of them because they're awesome. So now I'm getting on to the inking. I'm using my Copic Multiliner. And if you're new to my channel, I do mostly Copic marker artwork. It's just my favorite medium to use. I occasionally dabble in some other mediums, but for the most part, I like to do my marker art. And so, yeah. Uh, we are working on Strathmore Bristol board, and like I mentioned, my Copic Multiliner, and then using my Copic markers to color it in. Usually I have two steps to my inking process. The first time I go over my drawing, I just do one line thickness and get it traced. And then I go back over it a second time and in certain areas just to add some line weight and more definition to it. And what's great about this method is if I am inking directly over top of pencil lines and I have to erase those pencil lines, it can sometimes lighten the ink just a little bit. So going back over it a second time really helps make sure those lines stay dark and crisp. Thank you. 
here on my channel I do a lot of speed paints just to get you inspired and get those creative juices flowing and I'll do the occasional tutorial and also some challenge videos anything art related really anything from a tour of my workstation to supplies I use basically anything artsy is fair game here on my channel I also have a daily vlog channel where I vlog about my life and you see a lot of behind the scenes stuff of art I'm working on or just my day to day activities and I also have a toy channel where I unbox toys. And I do live streams on Twitch. Every Tuesday I do an art live stream and every Friday I do a video game live stream. So that's how the picture is looking so far. Be sure to watch Mark's part if you haven't yet and then move on to Jazza's section. I'll have both videos linked down below and as annotations that you can click on right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, video is uploading. Check that off the list. And I responded to another email that I was going to respond to later, but I was like, let's do it now. Got that done. Control at a nice, constant pace. <laughs>